Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Patrick Guest and we'll be talking about Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of July 2018. And Patrick is a father of three, he's a Catholic layperson and he is also a physiotherapist and an author. Welcome to the program, Patrick. Thank you, Morella. It's great to be here again. Good to have you back. Here we go, yes. So we'll start with Our Lady's message and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Okay. Our Lady said on the 2nd of July 2018 to everyone in the world, Dear children, I am the mother of all of you and therefore do not be afraid because I hear your prayers. I know that you seek me and that is why I am praying to my son for you my son who is united with the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, my son who leads souls to the kingdom from where he came, to the kingdom of peace and light. My children, you are given the freedom to choose. But as a mother, I implore you to choose the freedom for the good. You, with pure and simple souls, comprehend, even if sometimes you do not understand the words. And within yourselves, you feel what the truth is. My children, do not lose the truth and true life so as to follow the false one. By life in truth, the kingdom of heaven enters into your hearts. And that is the kingdom of peace, love and harmony. Then, my children, there will not be selfishness which distances you from my son. There will be love and understanding for your neighbours. Because remember again, I repeat to you, to pray also means to love others, your neighbours. Love and give in my son and then he will work in you and for you my children ceaselessly think of my son and love him immeasurably and you will have true life and that will be for eternity thank you for having responded to my call so, such a beautiful message. I really love this message. Mm. It's so... There's a lot in it. Yes, yeah, so much mm. guidance in it, so much what we all need today. Like, it's just perfect. Mm. Yeah. So we'll read nice. it line by line and we'll go through it. Our Lady said, Dear children, I'm the mother of all of you and therefore do not be afraid because I hear your prayers. Just that line alone, I hear your prayers, because sometimes you think, What's going on? <laughs> Am I yeah. just rattling off to nobody? I don't see any changes. I don't see anything. And then I, when I read that, I thought, that just gives me so much comfort, you know, just to, to know Mary is hearing our prayers. And that we have the perfect mother. Mm. I have a magnificent mother on earth, but a lot of people don't. And, and to have that thought that you have a perfect mother, however good or bad your earthly mother is you have a perfect mother yeah. it's just it's such a powerful message and it's such a message of peace yeah and she's such a model as well for us to follow mm. our lady said i know that you seek me and that is why i am praying to my son for you my son who is united with the heavenly father and the holy spirit the paraclete my son who leads souls to the kingdom 
from where he came, the kingdom of peace and light. And that makes me just, when I read that, it just makes me think of heaven. Like imagine like leaving this world and being in heaven. Like because it is a reality that's, it, it's something that we, we're all destined to because we're alive. <laughs> it's hard to believe that we would ever not be here. But it's, it's just such an amazing thought, like that we'd never be, that there's one day we won't be here. We won't. Yeah, and it's just, mm. and then we'll, and if we live a good life, and if we love and we follow the gospel, you know, we could be in this place, with, in heaven, with king, the kingdom of light, peace and light. That's so amazing. It is, and, and, and this, this, this family atmosphere that, that she creates of heaven with her son and our mother and the Holy Spirit and the Father, it's, it's a family. And that, that's where Mary fits in, this, this idea that, well, I can just pray straight to Jesus. Well, yeah, but it's part of being the kingdom of heaven is involving the whole family. Yeah. And when we involve her in our prayer life, we're getting ready for eternity, how it's going to be, this beautiful family. Yeah. And it will be peaceful and yeah. be nothing to be fearful of. And there'll mm. be immense love and we'll, we'll feel loved. And it says, the word says, no mind has imagined, but there's no harm in trying, hey? No mind can imagine. No mind has imagined, no eye has seen, no mind yeah, has imagined yeah. just, just how heaven is. Yeah. Right? What God has in store for those who love yeah. him. So, yeah, no, no harm in trying, hey? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> And then Our Lady said, My children, you are given the freedom to choose. But as a mother, I implore you to choose the freedom for the good. So I guess each moment we know we can choose the good or the bad. We, we've got the freedom to choose. And it's up to us to, to choose the right thing to do. That's a, that's a little bit of a motherly clip over the air, isn't it? It's <laughs> just saying, come on, you, you know what's right. or yeah. it, Almost a little bit like the... Um, the wedding at Cana. So Jesus was saying, my hour hasn't come yet. And then Mary sort of gently steers it in the direction of, maybe it has come now. So let's, let's get things rolling a bit with, with the do whatever he says line. So Yeah, do whatever he says. We have to go to a break now. Okay. You're okay. watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Patrick Guest and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of July 2018. Our Lady has been appearing in a little village in Bosnia, Herzegovina called Medjugorje and has been since June the 24th, 1981 with messages to the world and still is today. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. I will continue with the message Our Lady okay. gave us to everybody in the world. Our Lady said, you, will, you with pure and simple souls comprehend, even if sometimes you do not understand the words. And within yourselves, you feel what the truth is. So I think she's saying like sometimes you, because it's a translation from Croatian to English here, mm. so I'm not altering what they've translated. Um, so what I'm get, getting from this is she's saying something like comprehend, like in your heart, you know sometimes, even if you can't understand the words, you feel in your heart what's right, what's wrong, what the will of God is. And I spoke once to one of the visionaries myself um, oh, in Medjugorje. Yeah. I went on a pilgrimage and stayed at um, his place. So he, he ran a pilgrimage. Great. And he said to, I said to me, how do you know for sure, you know, what the will of God is for sure? Because I always hear people saying what mm. they think. Yeah, yeah. And he said, God speaks to you in your heart. And I thought, well, you know, we know, you know, mm. if we listen to our heart, it's always something good that it tells you, pure and loving. Yeah, um, I think, it, yes, my, uh, maybe my heart has led me astray along the way too. <laughs> if it's if it's if it's all if it's all heart, we well, need our brains as well. Yeah, um, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, my, my, She's certainly touching on the idea of if we approach the kingdom of heaven like a child. Yeah, so that oh, no, childlike, I would go with what he said. 
So, yeah, uh, I, I go 100% yeah. with what he said. With, Listen, so with what Ivan, uh, the visionary, uh, said. Yeah. said yeah. Listen to your heart because your heart does tell you the right thing. It's something, yeah. it's always something gentle to, to love and yeah. not, emo not emotion. He's not saying trust your emotional state, but trust your heart. It's like the, so, the silent voice in your heart, mm. the, the God, in our, God in our heart. The, um, yeah, the uh, Gibram, the, the poet, wrote that um, he's talking about faith, but he could be talking about discernment or of God's will, that, that, that it's an oasis in our heart mm. that we can never reach yeah. by the caravan of thinking. Mm. So we can think until the cows come home. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll find it somewhere else. Yeah. The answer's in our heart. And sometimes, mm -hmm. and sometimes you know what's right because you might speak to someone who is really good and who lives a really good life and they just tell you how they're living and you think, you're right, I can do that, you know. Mm -hmm. I can do that too. You know, just the same sort of thing, whatever it is. You do this, it's a simple thing. It's a simple life, you know. <laughs> really, we complicate our lives. <laughs> sure do, yeah. Um, our lady said, my children, do not lose the truth and true life, so as to follow the false one. So, you know, here she's saying, you know, choose, choose the right one. Don't, don't, follow, don't follow the false ways in life. And we know what's false, you know. What do, doesn't bring us pure joy. What isn't holy, what isn't good. We know what that is, you know. We know what is good and what is holy. You know? Going to Mass is just like Our Lady said in one of the messages earlier, to, be, to make it the centre of your life. We know that that's the right thing to do. I had an experience today, just very recently, less than an hour ago. I um, I did something that that had been sort of sitting not right with me, and my head had found a place for it that said, "No, that was okay," but my heart or, or something deeper knew that it wasn't, and so I, I took it to confession just just before, mm. and I've just been given this piece. Mm. Uh, a sense of okay I'm, and uh, so I'm really grateful that I listened to that uh, even though I'd found an intellectual space that might have said that it wasn't wasn't so bad it wasn't a sin it was it was and, I, and I'm so grateful that we have this sacrament yeah. of confession it was uh, seized the opportunity I didn't know that we that the, the father was going to offer it afterwards and yeah. and I just I'm so grateful for, for yeah. receiving that yeah, I feel yeah, the Yeah, it's beautiful, and mm. it's a it's a beautiful gift. That, I mean, that's what the Pope John Paul II said. If he, when he was a Pope, he said if he wasn't the Pope, he would be in Medjugorje hearing confessions. Wow! You know, everyone said all the priests say that's the most amazing miracle of all. Miracle of all is the confessions in Medjugorje. So many people turn back to God. It's just such an amazing thing. And someone said once to me that the devil had asked, I think it must have been the visionaries had said in a message or something, if he could have Medjugorje over the whole world. And that's what he was trying to get, but of course he no can't. Chance. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that's where everyone's turning back to God. There's so many people from all over the world. They're just people having miracles all over the world going there, you know, and then they come back here and wherever their countries are and they, they live it. It's that's beautiful. Great. I'd love to get there. It's, yeah. Our Lady said, by life, in truth. I think it means, the translation is probably by living in truth. But by life in truth, the kingdom of heaven enters into your hearts. So by living in truth, the kingdom of heaven enters into your hearts. And that is the kingdom of peace, love and harmony. So if we live our life in truth, the kingdom of heaven enters into our hearts. And that is the kingdom of peace, love, and harmony. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? Happened kingdom. to me one hour ago. Yeah. Just, just to receive that that sacrament, the sacrament of God's mercy, and and the peace that came from that. I've still got it. It's great. Yeah. Ah. It's um, I've got a recent experience of it happening in my yeah. life. Yeah. Mm. So what would you like to say to people who, who haven't been to confession for a while? Go, give it a go. It's cheaper than seeing your psychologist. It's, it's um, yeah, you're gonna get, it's therapy, it's healing. It's a healing place. 
and 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 priests love it. Uh, they, uh, I think that many priests that I know see it as the highlight of their their priesthood. Yeah. Uh, and so it's a. They are so eager to dish out the mercy, so e- eager to dish out the, God's mercy, mm, and it's so where you receive it. Mm. We're to go to a break Let's now. Go. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Patrick Guest, who is a Catholic layperson, an author, a father of three, and a physiotherapist, and a charis- involved in the Charismatic Renewal Catholic Group. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Here we go. Father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll continue with the message from Our Lady on the 2nd of July, 2018, if you want to look it up at home or on your Google, under Latest Messages from Medjugorje or Medjugorje Messages. Our Lady said, Then, my children, there will, be, there will not be the selfishness which distances you from my son. This is because she's talking about living our lives in truth, by living in, by living in truth. Then, there, then there, will not, there will be love and understanding for your neighbours. Because remember again, I repeat to you, to pray also means to love others, your neighbours. So by living in truth, she's, she's saying quite a lot here. Then my children, there will not be the selfishness which distances you from my son. So if we're, if, yeah, well, that's what, the same with confession, isn't it? When you've got a lot of sin, it distances you, distances you from Jesus because you're feeling guilty, you're feeling like, you know, you haven't done the right thing. Whereas if you just keep living an honest life and, and sharing it in confession and praying for God's mercy. Exposing yeah. darkness to light. It's yeah. it's not an. There's this idea that it's an arm wrestle. You know, the the devil's arm wrestling God. It's it's a no contest. You, know, mm. you turn the light on and and the darkness goes. Mm. If we just in, invite the light in. Yeah, and also um, someone once said to me that if you smile, the devil doesn't know the difference between a fake smile and a real <laughs> smile. Okay. And I was telling someone about that, yeah. and they were just like. <laughs> couldn't yeah. stop smiling yeah. they just wanted to keep smiling all the time <laughs> fake it till you make it <laughs> um, so yes yeah, so then our lady said there will be love understand there will be love understanding for your neighbours so I guess when we're living in a, a truthful life there will be more love and understanding for our neighbours um, because remember again I repeat to you to pray also means to love others your neighbours we need to love our neighbours we need to try and put ourselves in their shoes and sometimes if you can't love your neighbour the little trick is pray for them first and then you'll, you'll be building something with them. For sure. Yeah. Have you got, mm. Did you want to say anything about that? Oh, look, it's, uh, it's the golden rule. It's the t- t- it's, she summed up the great commandments there, hasn't she? The, yeah. the two great commandments. Of love God and love, love your neighbour. Yeah. And Our Lady said, Love and give in my son and then he will work in you and for you. That's one of my favourite lines. Love and give in my son, then he will work in you and for you. So if you try and live seeing Jesus in your neighbour and love your neighbour, God will be working in you and for you. If you do it like this, love God and love neighbour. Like, you know, when there's suffering, love Jesus forsaken. He's there with you. Mm. Like in that cross when you go through suffering. Because you can't, we can't, life is not is not here. You don't not suffer. I mean... It's just part of being human, isn't it, unfortunately? It sure is. <laughs> but there's a reason for it. There's a reason yeah. for it, for us to come closer to God. We sure do. The, um, I think the, when he talks about the two commandments again, he says to, to love God, and the second is like the first. Mm. Love your neighbour as yourself. Mm. I, just thought, I struggled with that for a while. That why, is it like, why is the second like the first? But as you said, if, if you can see God in your neighbour, mm. you are loving God. It continues, yeah. The relationship continues. Mm. Through your neighbour. Through your neighbour, yeah. yeah. So you're loving God there. Yeah. The presence of him. 
Yeah. The presence of him. It's beautiful. Mm. I mean, once I did, when I first heard that, I was at this jewelry shop and I thought, I'm going to try it out. And there was, it was just like a table, you know, table jewelry shop in Chapel Street in Paran years ago. And these guys were just selling some jewelry. Old, old guys are just selling jewelry. And I just went there. Like, I used to always go there. And this time I thought, no, I'm going to go there and just, I'm not going to even say anything. I'm just going to love Jesus in the neighbor. Just put it to the test. I was riding my push bike down Chapel Street, and I thought, no, I'll just get off, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to put. I just know I was inspired <laughs> that moment. Just put the push bike down and just love yeah. Jesus in the neighbour. And I just went and did it. Just tried. It. I thought they're going to think I'm a lunatic, but what have I got to lose? If I can see Jesus in them, this is the best thing in the world. And that's all I did. I didn't say a word. I didn't even ask for jewellery. Didn't ask for anything. And they picked up a piece. One of the men picked up a piece of uh, jewellery, like a ring, walked around his little table, put it on my finger, grabbed my hand, and said, "Have that." Wow. And I was like smiling from ear to ear. And I thought, because all my motivation was to love Jesus in that person. That's it. Fantastic. And you get that back. And that's what happened. I thought that's, yeah. you won't, you, you'll be surprised. Life becomes magical when you live like that. <laughs> Taz, I, sh- shortly after my conversion about 10 years ago, I, I was on this mission. I, I probably a bit insensitive in ways, but I was praying for everyone and, and looking for all sorts of things to happen. And um, so I remember almost dragging this homeless fellow off the street and uh, but he was up for it and so we started praying for him and he changed he really changed in, in to the point where the dynamic changed and then he started telling me things about my life that really surprised me it was like he was prophesying over me and so by the end of it I was almost on, on my knees before this man. And I, it was like the presence of such a, a change in the dynamic. It started with me Help feeling you. sorry for him. And then in the end, he was really helping me. And it, just that idea that God lives in everyone. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's so awesome. beautiful. That's proof again, see? <laughs> yeah. Our lady said, My children ceaselessly think of my son and love him immeasurably. And you will have true life. And that will be for eternity. Thank you for having responded to my call. So ceaselessly think of Jesus. Ceaselessly love him immeasurably. And we will have true life for eternity. I mean, that's just, there's, there's our instructions right there. Ceaselessly. Bit of, it's a tough one. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> I guess if, we, if, if, we're, if we're seeking him in everyone we meet, that's yeah. that's the challenge, isn't it? That's the that's how we can do it. That, yeah. that ceaselessly. Yeah, because mm. we can pray, keep praying all the time, and then pray for the person that we're with. Pray for the priest as he says the mass. Just keep that connection going with Jesus the whole time. It's just Jesus, 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 Jesus in you. Jesus is in in him. Jesus in my husband. Jesus in my daughter. Jesus. It's just Jesus all the time. <laughs> Jesus in the priest. And it's just, and we have to sort of adapt our lives to being like that and then just pray in between. Yeah, we're, it's heard this line, the, uh, be, a, be a silver lining hunter yeah. in your life. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on the program. <laughs> it's wonderful having you. Fantastic. <laughs> You've been watching Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich and our guest was Patrick Guest. Hope you enjoyed the program and God bless you and keep you and your family happy, healthy and safe always. See you again.